Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to go ahead and ask a very simple question that I'm pretty sure all of you will have the same answer for. But are you tired of how the base in our game looks? Now I know that the game is pretty much a sim racer's dream considering, you know, physics, overall gameplay, and also, of course, the online league racing. But doesn't it look a little bit old to you at this point? Well, what if I told you that there was a specific update that you could do to make your game look more like this. Now, it doesn't seem like much, but when you're on track, it really does improve the game in general, not only making it look better, but also making it run better and be more equipped for the future of more powerful graphics cards. I don't know if you knew, certain uh, graphics card companies are not really taking into account older games. Basically, I'm calling this video How to Update NR to DirectX 9 tutorial time huh so I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, install that update um, it's a very simple process and this is what is going to keep this game very concurrent and it'll keep it in our future because I, I seriously think this is this important so if you think that you want to share this around share it wherever you want like the video and all that great stuff so the file that I have um, highlighted at the moment this is the first file that we need to do uh, something with it. it is d3d8.dll basically you need to know where your game is installed so personally myself I installed it to my C drive which is my hard drive so to find where that is you go to this PC local disk papyrus NASCAR racing 2003 season and then you're in the game folder so basically we need to take this DLL we can go ahead right click on it copy go ahead and paste it into this folder so now we have a DLL file in here basically this file makes it go from the game using DirectX 8 to DirectX 9 which puts it on a faster architecture and one that is used by most graphics cards um, DirectX 8 is a little bit outdated now uh, a lot of graphics card uh, creators companies they don't really take older games that run on DirectX 7 8 into account but um, however they do for DirectX 9 so that's nice anyway after you've done that you should run the reshade setup 3.1.0 um, start it see what it says it says welcome select a game so that's the first thing that you're gonna do so you're gonna click on this and then you're gonna go to your game folder so like we did earlier local disc C papyrus NASCAR racing 2003 and then you're gonna find the regular NR2003 EXE try to ignore all of these other ones because you're more than likely only going to have the NR2003 EXE so you select that and you hit open after that it says select rendering API so you want to select the DirectX 3D9 selection so you press this now after you do that it comes up with a little prompt window saying do you wish to download a collection of standard effects from github so you say yes now it will download all of these and it will show you this list choose which effects files that you would like to install um, basically I install every single one of these uh, personally myself I know that other people that have had this update don't like to install every single one of them but I'm going to for the ease of convenience because I've always done it every single time I suggest that you guys do it too because when I show you what you can do with this uh, update later you'll want to have all of these so go ahead and hit OK and now it says done installing to NR2003 succeeded so now you can close this window so now we're gonna go into the game itself so you want to start your game and I'm gonna be showing you what you should be looking for at the top of your screen for NR there should be a little prompt this little gray box saying it's loading effects this is reshade 3.1.0 um, it's loading all these effects but here's a nice little tip if you go into player info it loads them a lot quicker which is pretty nice uh, anyway after the effects are done loading the first thing that you need to do on your keyboard is hit shift plus F2 and it'll bring up this little window so this window says welcome since this is the first time you've started reshade we'll go through a quick tutorial covering the most important features um, basically just hit continue and I'll tell you what to do so now you see this little gray 
drop down box and plus button here what you need to do is press this plus button and name basically this file it's going to create an INI file that will be inside your NR2003 folder which basically will encapsulate all the effects that you're going to be using in the future and it will save that INI so I'm going to save my INI as uh, NR2003 DX9 so then you hit enter and now you can see this long list of a bunch of scary looking stuff basically these are your effects that you can use um, that's really all you need to know for the specific moment so now you hit continue <clears throat> and this window right here is basically where you can create magic because all of these files up here in this uh, grayed out area now of course all these are effects and then down in this window that is red you can adjust every single effect that is listed up here to the finest amount so you can have the game look exactly how you want it to pretty cool right it's amazing so now we just go ahead and hit finish so now you're all set basically but what you should do which you don't necessarily have to but I I would hope that you would is go to settings and see where it says effects toggle key you press this and personally myself I like to set it to scroll lock but you can set this to any button that you want uh, on your keyboard and any time that you want to start any of these effects you basically just hit that button and then boom it happens you can still hit shift F2 to bring up this window which this is the only way to get to this window is hitting shift F2 so this is to start the effects effects toggle key and this is to bring up the uh, the menu for your you know your effects anyway I'm gonna show you some of the ones that I personally like a good bit uh, number one ambient light it's amazing when you get it completely right another great one I'll turn off the effects so you can see it every time as I change it the bloom effect right here looks pretty great I mean that is actually really awesome it probably doesn't look like it in the video but I swear when you get into the game and look at it yourself you'll be blown away um, also clarity this is a great one it sharpens up the game quite a bit so it makes it look extra nice you also have colorfulness this adds on a color effect it basically makes everything a lot more uh, you know colorful I guess uh, you also have curves which brings in a lot more contrast uh, those are the ones that I personally use quite a bit and also vignette dude awesome it barely does anything but it's incredible um, and these I will show you what I usually use I use vignette I use as well ambient light and then I will add on either curves or HDR and it makes the game just look fantastic I mean that looks incredible ladies and gentlemen I don't know about you but uh, I really like it quite a bit and it can show you real-time data of your game the textures that are being used all that great stuff um, you can also put like frame rate counters in your uh, in your game show FPS and then it shows your FPS at the top right pretty nifty so um, yeah go wild I mean I'll show you a couple of laps of what I'll be doing so you can see how it truly looks on the regular game if you're using all of these settings this is usually what I use but sadly there is one problem with the DirectX 9 update when you have all of these checkboxes these three from on cars from on ground if you have these on it will basically make the cars look black and that sucks but basically you just turn these three off and you're good to go guy anyhow I hope that you're not too confused but here's some footage of me racing around somewhere hey guys I wanted to go ahead and show you what the game really looks like with the effects on and off so right now the effects are off this is what the base in our game looks like now for the time it looked incredible and it still looks great but look at this I'm about to turn the effect on right now look at how much different that looks 
It doesn't seem like a lot on the surface, which I can totally understand. But let me go ahead and get an onboard of a certain car here. Number one, look at that cockpit. Okay. And then number two, the blinking red light right here looks amazing. I mean, this looks really realistic. Incredibly realistic. Then we go, you know, off camera a little bit. And look at the little bloom that it kind of has. It, it, it looks amazing. Like, look at that. Look at how bright that is. Jeez. I mean, this looks incredible. Amazing. This is what this game can look like when you do this tutorial. And really get it down pat to where you like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I really hope that this improves your in-our-game experience. And with that, I bid you a farewell.